weeks. And today we heard from Consol Energy. It's a coal and gas producer and it reported a 41% drop in second quarter profit because of charges related to an acquisition. Back in April, the company bought Dominion Resources gas business for about three and a half billion dollars. So that's what it was related to. If you look at the shares today, they are trading lower on the news by around 4%. CEO Brett Harvey joining us now from his headquarters in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Brett, thank you very much for your time. Uh, first of all, I'm curious what was behind the miss between what analysts were expecting and what the company delivered. Describe to us the, the charges that were involved here. Well, let's put this in perspective first. Uh, last year, in the tough year, we had the best year we've had in our 148-year history. So the expectations, I think, were a little bit ahead of the ability to digest this um, acquisition. And once we got it digested, they're great assets. Um, there were acquisition charges. There were some other charges we needed to take care of. And I think the uh, analysts got a little bit ahead of our ability to uh, to uh, get traction on this acquisition. And uh, separately from the acquisition, what about underlying costs? What about the margins in the quarter? Uh, the margins are actually expanding. We're doing uh, very well. Our tonnage was down a little bit on the mining side. On the gas side, we had a record. So all the fundamentals are very sound. It, it was just there was a mismatch between where the analysts were and our ability to produce in the second quarter. Uh, the fundamentals are very strong. It looks like we'll have a better year than we had last year. So uh, I think the market's very nervous right now. And if they look close at the fundamentals, I think they'll see that Consol has uh, very uh, strong uh, assets and ability to earn, earn going forward. Well, uh, Brett, of course, some of the nervousness surrounding your industry right now has to do with what happened at one of your competitors earlier in the year. Of course, the, I'm speaking of the mine disaster that killed 29 at a Massey Energy mine. Um, are you seeing increased ex um, inspections by your regulator, MSHA, and did that add to costs in the quarter? Well, every time, every time there is an accident, a big accident like that, you see real pressure, and there should be. I mean, safety is number one. Uh, we should do everything we can to protect the miners, and we do that uh, in our company. We, we really focus on it. We give the miners the right to uh, shut down machines if they feel unsafe and do what needs to be done. So at the end of the day, there are costs associated with that, but we think the safety and productivity go together. In the long run, our cost structure and our margins will be fine if we take care of our people. Um, on the call this morning, you did mention that you're going to be in touch with lawmakers um, and have a conversation about energy legislation going forward. What kinds of things do you want to see in any kind of legislation that would affect the, the coal industry? Well, we think that um, the risk associated with the mine plans that are being approved by the government needs more focus rather than, I guess, I guess the, uh, the right way of putting it, rather than hire more policemen, we should hire more uh, experts in mining to approve these plans, to risk assess the plans as the government approves them. I think that's better than trying to react to and put more police in the mine, so to speak. And uh, that would be my advice to the government. Um, Brett, I want to move into natural gas, which is a growing part of your business. Previously, it was about three quarters coal and the remaining part gas, but I imagine that's going to increase as you make these acquisitions. A couple of years ago, you decided to spin off or at least begin to spin off your gas business. Now you're getting back into it relatively aggressively. What's behind the, the switch in strategy on that? Well, two things. I think the number one thing is the policy that pushes back on coal as a fuel source for the utilities, that slowed them down on building new coal plants. We already had a gas business, so we decided to bring the gas business back in and grow it based on uh, government policy. The other thing is the technology has changed on the gas side and the ability to access gas on our same coal footprint, the Marcellus Shale here in, West Pen in Western Pennsylvania gave us the opportunity to take that technology and expand that part of the business on the same footprint that we've had for 146 years. So it really was a good move because both fuels make about 70 percent of uh, the fuel for electricity and, and it's a natural fit for us. Uh, Brett, I'm, I'm curious when you talk about those new technologies, um, there's a little bit, at least recently, there's been a little bit of political risk associated with what's called hydraulic fracturing or hydro fracking or fracking as a lot of folks right. call it. Um, how much of a concern is that for you? People are concerned that when uh, you use this technology it can affect water quality in the area. 
Well, that, that has become the buzzword. Now, fracking's been around for a long time. That's how we've got oil out of the ground. That's how we've got natural gas out of the ground. Uh, so that's a, that's a common method. What is different is we're going vertical to horizontal. So think in terms of a vertical 7,000 feet deep and then horizontal maybe 5,000 feet. Well, the fracking is along the horizontal uh, dimension of this thing. And uh, it, it's just kind of the buzzword that's out there now. But people uh, are looking at it. They're seeing value. Uh, they're making their arguments. They want to make sure it's done right. We believe it should be done right. So that, uh, and I don't think there's very, there's very little risk on water quality issues because we're so far under the water table. But I think we should do it right and we'll continue to follow the environmental rules. I'm also curious, Brett, um, there's some talk just quickly here about a joint venture when you're talking about developing and getting the gas out of the ground in Marcellus. Uh, what's the progress on that? How close are you to maybe doing something like that? Well, we're evaluating what we want to do ourselves, and we have such a big footprint in terms of acreage, we're evaluating what we want to do beyond our own plans, that we would probably joint venture with others to accelerate value back to our shareholders by taking assets that we wouldn't develop for 20 years, bringing them forward with a, with a partner, and uh, adding more value to our uh, shareholders right away. All so right. We're, we're talking about that. We'll know mm -hmm. within the next three or four months. All right, we'll uh, okay. wait for some news on that. Brett Harvey, uh, Consol Energy CEO, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.